Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. If you want to know anything else, just ask. I'll be waiting. All right, so she kind of had a lot to say, but uh, whatever. Uh, first thing we're gonna, I want to do is kind of talk to Trudy, but uh, I don't know where the hell she is. So, whoa, look at that Brahmin over. Oh, missed him. All right, so Trudy was one of those people I can talk to. I don't know where she's at, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to Chet at, uh, first, and then we'll go pretty much go around and talk to everyone. Uh, we're, I think we'll actually get everyone except uh, Easy Pete. I can never get Easy Pete. So let's talk to Chet first. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. My barter is one off. Ah. Oh. Right. I'm gonna do this, and then we're gonna. I think we got a barter magazine. I hope. Or at least some mentals. I think we'll do it. Or not mentals, but men mentats. You looking to buy some supplies? You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for cower talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino. Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's gotta be a good thing, right? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Khans deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Khans. All right. Well, he's done a lot of talking. Let's see what he Can has do. for sale. Should have got done. Should have talked to him earlier so we get that out of the way. But uh, what are you gonna do? Um, let's see. He gave us this leather armor. I'm thinking about selling it back to him. <laughs> I think I'm going to. 
the armor I have on now doesn't have any. Has, uh, it's still it's still in perfect condition. I might just sell that back to him. Take that back. Thank you for the free 32 caps, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. Probably has some shit that I do not care about. Eh, maybe not. I, I wouldn't mind it, all that stuff. So we got in here though. Uh, we got binoculars. Grenade rifle. I don't know if I would ever use a grenade rifle, honestly. I don't know if I should sell it though. So some good damage. I'm gonna keep it for now. I might use it. Uh, what else do we got? Um, anything in the miscellaneous that you can have? Nothing. Actually, take that scrap metal. Take the BBs. I'll never use anything with BBs. I think that's about it. I gave all my other shit to other people. At least he has a lot of caps, so whenever we need to come back, we can grab some stuff off Another of him. Satisfied customer. All right, so we got like five minutes left. Let's go ahead and uh, run around and talk to whoever else we can get uh, a hold of by then. All right, Ringo's in the bar. Let's go. Let's just go in a circle. Don't want to go to Ringo until the end, so we're gonna go to Doc Mitchell now. Then we'll probably hit Easy Pete and Trudy next. I'm not sure what order exactly, but. Go ahead and talk to Doc Mitchell, and I think you just have to have your medicine up a little bit, maybe. Or your speech. I think it's just medicine. All you need is your medicine up, and then he'll be. Oh, yeah. Take these stim packs. Or actually, I actually might just give them to you because he likes you. I don't know which one. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. He's a nice guy. I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Thank you very much. I want to know a little bit about yourself, though. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a... Eh, we don't need to listen to this. To we already know all the stuff from him. I mean, about the town. Uh, no, we don't need to run down. We already know who rescues me. Let's just go. We don't need to talk to him about anything else. We pretty much got a lot of information from uh, everyone else in town. So, uh, we're head to, uh, Lucy, which, uh, what do we need with Lucy? I think Lucy might be the speech one. He was the medicine one, uh, and, uh, Easy Pete's the uh, explosive one, the one I can never fucking get. Did I never checked this mailbox? Oh, I might have. I just never looted it because it's shit. Uh, let's head. Who was first? This is where I'm guessing Trudy lives, or Easy... I'm guessing Trudy. But uh, before we head in there, I'm going to end it here. And when we come back, we'll go ahead and get the rest of the gang and uh, start this little mini fight or battle, I guess you could call it. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.